Hello everyone, my name is Jax, and welcome to part 6 of 5M scripting with TypeScript. In this part, we're going to go over how to make some exports within your 5M script. Now these are specifically TypeScript exports, these are not 5M exports. We can cover 5M exports in another date. You can also do your own research on uh, 5M exports if that is what you're looking for. But again, this is exports within your 5M script using TypeScript exports. What I like to do is if I'm ever doing exports, I like to make an extra file. So we just do like extras or um, you can really call it anything. We can call it exports. Actually, I like exports better. So let's call our file exports. And in here, I'm gonna showcase a couple ways to make your exports. So the first way will be a function. We're gonna call this function print. And then in the parameters, we're gonna do a message. The message is a string. And then this is just gonna console log the message. So that way, instead of typing console log, followed by a string, all I have to do now is just type print. So the second way we can do an export is we can type export and then const for constant. And then we can do like, let's say we wanna do like some type of like config or something. Let's call this like a XB or something. Not really sure. And then let's just make message or MSG welcome from exports.tx. And now we got to export this function as well. So we're going to type exports and then print in curly brackets. So now we're going to import both EP config and print from export TS into client.ts file. So the way we do that is we type import, and we can do this two ways. We can type individually, we can type print from exports and then type import EP config from exports. And sometimes it highlights red and the reason why is because we actually need to put this in curly brackets but whenever that happens you can just add it to this so ep config and that'll add both print and ep config into the import um, but if you wanted to import everything from that specific file you would type the star or asterisk it's like shift eight and then after that, you would type as, and then you would make something up, let's say exp. So now if I wanted to call print, I would type exp period print followed by a message. And then if I wanted to, you know, see what it's in the message property for ep config, I would type exp period config period msg to print this or to find if this is whatever. And so if we wanted to do that down here, let's just make a quick register command. I'm going to type it print. I'm going to do source args and string as an array. And then we're going to do font message args and then zero for like the first argument. And then of course, exp print message and false because we don't want it restricted. So now this will print whatever the argument is. And then we can also have it um, a way to delay. So let's put a sync right here, async right there. That way we can do a wait and then delay. Let's wait like one second. And we'll say exp.print and then exp epconfig.msg. So now this command print is going to console log whatever the argument is into console. And then it's going to wait one second and then it's going to console log the message from here. So let's go ahead and save this. We're going to make sure that we are in watch mode. And if you don't know how to do that, you're going to just type uh, npm run watch. And let's go to our server console restart our script. Let's go ahead and go to our game here and we're going to type print and then a message. So let's type hello world. 
And now it is going to type hello. It, we waited one second and then it typed hello from export.ts. And now if we didn't actually want to do um, import all, we could do uh, import print and then we got to take out the as exp part and it's going to highlight all these as red, but that's fine because we don't need uh, this anymore. And we're just going to erase the exp part. So now we can change the console log to print. And again, if we go back and restart our script, go back into game, print hello world, it's going to print hello. The reason why it only print hello is because it's an array. So we would have to do args. If we went back into here, we would have to do args and then comma args one. We're not comma, but we would do plus args one. So the first word is the argument and the second word is the second argument, but it actually starts from zero. So it's zero, one, two, et cetera. So now let's try again. Let's restart our script, go back in game, and we're gonna type print hello world. This time it prints hello world. But we can see that it doesn't have a space in between. So that's because we need to actually add a set of quotes. So we're actually gonna go right here and we're next to the plus, we're gonna type an empty string. What we're gonna do is space. So this is an empty string and we're just doing two quotes and a space, that's it. And then followed by a plus. So it's args, space, args one. We're gonna go restart our scripts, go back in the game here. And then now it has that little space into there. We have hello and world, perfect. So that's pretty much it. That's how you do exports. It's pretty self-explanatory. This video wasn't gonna be long at all, um, again, if you have not watched the previous parts in this series, I please advise you to do so because the previous parts can kind of catch you up to speed for everything. So yeah, please do that. And um, if you have any questions and you're still confused about any videos that are seen in this uh, playlist, please join my Discord. It's in every description over every part. And uh, you can definitely go in there, ping me at any time if you want and ask for help from me directly but that is going to be all for this video you guys thank you all for watching and uh, you guys have a great rest of your night or day and deuces